of environmental studies back five or six years ago, I don't remember, but uh, we have a completely eco-friendly home tour and let's get started with this background here. Tell us what your house is made out of. Well, our house is made of straw. So um, we have this that's called the truth window. Basically tells you that the house is really truly made out of straw and we have 171 bales in the house on our north east and west exterior walls and the straw acts as a fantastic insulator and it's a waste product left over from the harvesting of rice so it doesn't have any nutrient value in it so we like to say hay is for horses and straw is for houses they're very very fire resistant and earthquake resistant the straw because it you know it's almost like a tree in the breeze mm -hmm. kind of moves like this <laughs> you know and it kind of has that that flexibility that give okay. so it's not super rigid like a brick okay and as for fires they're actually very fire resistant because the bales are packed so tightly that the oxygen can't get in without oxygen you have can't start a fire now let's talk about the paint if this is a paint this is a non-toxic alternative to paint it's a ferrous sulfate, and ferrous sulfate basically is a benign agricultural fertilizer that you can mm -hmm. buy even at OSH. You have two soup can size of the powder mm -hmm. to four gallons of water, and you just brush it and roll it on. In this case, it is green when it goes on, but ferrous being iron basically oxidizes and mm -hmm. it reacts with the, the oxygen in the atmosphere. And, you get the rest color over yeah, time. Yeah, it's a stunning color. I love it. Um, yeah. All right, what else makes your house eco-friendly? We use the sun to heat and cool our space, to run the electricity, heat the water. We use uh, waste products, like for instance, the straw is a waste product from the harvesting of rice. Store is a salvage door. All the wood you see in the home is salvaged. We have fly ash, ash in the uh, concrete, which is a waste product from the uh, burning of coal. We have um, cellulose, which are recycled old newspapers, mm -hmm. cardboard. So those are just some of the eco-friendly features, recycled glass and so forth. The post and beam construction that we had to have in California at the time, uh, all of that wood is um, sustainably harvested wood from Forest Stewardship Council right nearby in yep. Salinas. Mm -hmm. okay. FSC. Yep, FSC certified. Very cool. Yep. And the last but not least is we use drought tolerant, drought resistant landscape, native landscape. We have edibles for ourselves and we catch our own water, so via uh, our cistern. And you do have tours every other month. We do. How many people were you able to bring so far to your tours? So far, about 6,000 people have toured our house. It might be closer to 7,000 by now. Oh my gosh. I, I used to keep track and then I stopped after about 6,000. That's awesome. It could be up to 7,000. What are the top three things that you think are very ne extremely necessary for them to have an eco-friendly home? Great. Well, certainly I would suggest uh, energy efficiency is a giant piece of it. You know, weatherizing around doors and you know, windows and things like that to make sure that what's called the building envelope is sealed. super energy efficient mm -hmm. and sealed. The second thing I think that people can do is just any time they're buying anything, just to think about an alternative because there's always an eco-friendly alternative. We get all our food from a community-supported agriculture. Mm -hmm. It all is local. We get a box of food every week from a small farmer who pays their farm workers a living wage. Mm -hmm. It's all organic. The food's not traveling long distances. So products like that are you know, good. Um, in terms of uh, water use, for instance, you know, you don't want to you know, have a low flush toilet a low flow shower head, turn off the shower when you're not using it, things like that. But in terms of energy use, which is a big use for people in the home, mm -hmm. you know, just having those double pane windows or, or the building envelope is really good. Mm -hmm. By uh, Eco Star appliances, Energy Star appliances, mm -hmm. like our refrigerator, I was talking about it earlier, but it uses 75% less electricity than in the average home. That's where a lot of electricity goes in people's homes. So just your refrigerator pur purchase is a huge deal. Very cool. Wow. Thank you so much for having us here, for making a difference in our planet. 
and you have the same amount of energy as <laughs> six years ago, and you look the same, so you must be the straw. <laughs> Start putting the mud all over the walls. You just get the mud and just. Sometimes we have a bill for our electricity that's 46 cents. It's really upsetting. <laughs> Sometimes it's three dollars. You gotta stop using that hair dryer, man. I don't know where our rock went. Maybe it's in my head. Uh. <laughs>